Okay, cool. So we're still with Adam from Gretsch here, uh, but now we're in the, the Roots series, which is their kind of bluegrass stuff. And they've got heaps of new stuff for 2014, including this beauty that I'm holding, acoustic guitar with a Fidelitron pickup and a Bigsby trim, which is just amazing. I'm going to have a strum on that in a second. But Adam, if you want to take the mic, do you just want to talk us through all the changes? Sure. Well, for the Roots stuff to start off with, um, one of the coolest new things we've got this year is uh, this uh, resonator guitar here. This is a bobtail steel. It's basically the same as the bobtail um, resonator that we already do, which has a wood body, but of course this one's got this brushed steel body. Um, it's a lacquered finish, so you don't feel sort of bare metal on your hands, but it, like the bobtail before it, it has the Nashville pickup in there. Um, and compared with the brass body honey dipper that we already do, it's got a bit of a mellower sound, not quite so much twang. It's really great for strumming and finger picking, as well as kind of for some slide work, kind of bluegrassy slide work. Uh, that's available in the round neck and the square neck. And what you see next to it is a limited edition. This is an FSR of the honey dipper that we already do. So that's the brass bodied resonator with the biscuit bridge, uh, finished in this lovely delta blue finish. Uh, we've also added binding on there and the pinstriping on the headstock. Uh, this is limited to 200 pieces in Europe only. Um, also, just over here, you can see we got new F-style mandolin um, with the scroll. And just below it is the new Dixie Special Banjo, this one here, which uh, completes our range of Dixie banjos. Um, what makes a banjo a Dixie banjo? Hmm? We're calling it Dixie Banjo because it's um, these are all the three Dixie Banjos we offer are open back style, which are for the old time style of music, the claw hammer style, and they have the frailing scoop just right down there for the um, for that sort of thing. Thank you. So it's got 24 lugs and notched hoops. It's got the br rolled brass tone ring in there, and this is the mid range one. So this is really these this whole range of banjos is really ideal for old time styles. Uh, and we also have added on the um, open back four string banjo, which is a tenor banjo, designed to be tuned to uh, the same tuning as a mandolin, except you can, you can really tune it to anything you want if you get the right string gauges. It's a very versatile kind of plectrum banjo. And I noticed a couple of very cool white balcony looking things down at the end as well. Indeed. I don't know if we can spot those, because there's a bit busy on the booth at the moment. But um, yeah, but basically we've in, we've, we're reintroducing the whole acoustic brand of uh, Gretsch guitars, the whole acoustic range. Up till now we've done kind of fairly standard natural finish acoustic guitars. We want to stop all that and say, hey, we're Gretsch, we, we want to be Gretsch and we're going to be who we are. The one you're holding is a perfect example. The Fidelitron pickup here was developed for these Gretsch acoustic guitars. And they're, they're sited in an ISO chamber. So it's... Um, Feedback is not too much of an issue because the pickup is isolated from the rest of the guitar. It's got a genuine Gretsch rocking bar bridge on there, which complements the Bigsby. Quite a lot of heavy bracing inside the guitar, so the Bigsby doesn't make the guitar collapse in on itself, of course. And this is a beautiful Savannah sunset finish, mahogany back and sides. You know what? I was watching. I hope this microphone's picking me up, but, or maybe this one. Yeah. I was watching a, a Jeff Beck. Uh, video the other day where he talks about some of the guitars that he owns and he has an, an old original Gretsch Rancher and I, I don't even know maybe I'm just a dullard on this but um, for anybody that thought that these Gretsch acoustics are kind of just like something they've invented recently these are proper historic replicas of guitars that have been around from Gretsch for 50 years or so aren't they? Absolutely right I mean the same as with the banjos and the whole of the Roots series it's actually because Gretsch have been around for 130 years or so uh, they've been doing acoustics since the 40s the uh, triangular sound hole is a classic Gretsch feature since as you say since the 40s and even earlier uh, whether they actually did a version with that pickup and that big speed no, just like the triangular sound yeah. hole was, was like a signature absolutely thing. and the the classic kind of um, Gene Vincent big body jumbo guitars and actually we bought the jumbo shapes back with the falcons so we have those two falcon guitars which have the falcon headstocks the fisherman pickups the triangular sound holes and the, all the sparkly binding so these guitars are all unashamedly Gretsch guitars you know they're not going to be mistaken for anything else. Well, thank you, Adam. Thank Everybody you. should check out an acoustic guitar with a Bigsby on it. You all need one of these. It's awesome. Uh, but we're done, I think, for Gretsch now, aren't we? Thank you very much for all your help this year, and uh, see you soon. Take care.